Hi everybody, Colleen from voiceregistry.voicebank.net and voicebank.net here uh, wanting to put something up on YouTube that normally only airs on our voice registry site. It is called Video Tip of the Day, uh, but this one in particular we thought would be really great to put up on YouTube because it so will help in, you would think such a small way but ends up being huge on how important slating is. And we had our guest um, video tip of the day person who is not only a voiceover coach, voiceover talent, and a voiceover casting director, Rick Zeef, do this tip for us. And now, here is Rick Zeef explaining the importance of slating. Hi, I'm Rick Zeef with your video tip of the day. I'm a voiceover casting director, I'm a voiceover actor, and I'm also a voiceover coach and I approach this work from all three perspectives. And today's tip is about slating. Now most of you know probably that slating is you announcing who you are before your actual audition. But there are a couple of little tricks I want to impart today about slating. You can get some mileage out of your slate and it can also damage your audition. A lot of people think the audition starts when they begin the commercial copy or the animation copy or whatever they're re uh, recording. But actually, your audition starts the second you open your pie hole. You're being judged by the way you say your very name. And so what I want to talk about today is that you make sure you not only say your name clearly and not too quickly, because we have all kinds of fun, long, ethnic names, great names, love your names. But the trick I want to talk about is to slate in the general direction, the general spirit of your actual read, the audition that's to follow. Why? Because when I am listening to these auditions, with a client who is not an actor and not necessarily a casting director, they in their minds want to believe that the person they are hiring is the actual persona of the character they're reading. Does that make sense? Meaning, if you're a really high strung, wired, kind of nervous type, uh, your slate doesn't want to be too laid back because you're asking them to connect dots that are too far apart. If you are going to play a relaxed, sensuous character for a wine commercial or a jewelry commercial. You don't want to slate like, Hi, my name's Rick Zeef! The new perfume from blah, blah, blah. You don't want them to connect dots that are that far apart because then they say, Oh, that person's acting. So you want your slate to be in the general spirit of your read. Now what happens if you're doing animation? That's a very big departure from your normal voice. It's okay to slate in character, but I would say the more character your voice is, the more further afield of your natural voice it is, the more I tend to curb it and hold it back, but give them an, uh, a sense of where you're going with the character, even in your slate. Just remember this nugget. You will be judged the second they hear your voice. And we as casting directors try not to judge by that, but we know that you're being graded by the way you say your very name. So say it clearly, Say it in the general spirit of your read and have fun. Break a vocal cord.